All right, so we got new to the Final Fantasy series. Start here for beginners. Uh, I'm new. Uh, even though I love Final Fantasy, I know nothing about the game. I want to know more. Let's get to the video. So you've seen the Final Fantasy series around. Never watched this guy. Never watched this guy's channel before. But you don't know if you should give it a shot or not. Don't worry, my friend. You're in the right place. Link in the description down below for his you channel. Need to know whether you're brand new to the series or maybe you just haven't played in a while. And at the end of this video, I'll also tell you where you should start in the series, just in case you're not sure. I've got you covered. Okay. Final Shout Fantasy guy, is a man. video game series that was created in 1987 by a developer known as Square or Squaresoft, but more specifically by a fella called Hironobu Sakaguchi. More like Sakaguchi! I'm, I'm sorry, oh, I oh my get God. that out. I'm sorry. Oh my the God. first game was heavily inspired by other RPGs out at that time, like okay. Dragon Warrior, which is interesting now considering... Well, we'll get into that in a minute. Dungeons and Dragons also had a hand in inspiring Sakaguchi to make the game too, and the evidence of this lies within some of the enemy designs, like a nice this setup, fella called Evil Eye. Compare that with the D&D counterpoint, The Beholder. While other RPGs did exist at the time, Final Fantasy just felt more alive. The okay. world felt more cohesive. There was a bit more challenge. The dungeons felt more dungeony, and it okay. was an impressive mix of level design with the soundtrack composed by the legendary Nobuo Uematsu that made it feel dungeony. I don't know how dungeon e players also traversed the sky too with their very own airship, which for 1987 was really something. For I like her hairstyle. Tecmo Bowl, Zelda 2, and Mike Tyson's Punch Out were all released that same year, and are there airships in any of those games? Even from this early entry in the series, Final Fantasy One established some staples that lasted throughout the entire series. Airships being the big thing, but also crystals, the elements using a rock paper scissors style of battle, such as fire is weak against ice so on and so forth yeah another thing that this game established was the baseline right before the battle begins this lasted from the original final fantasy in 1987 to the release of final fantasy 7 in 1997 and was resurrected briefly in 2000 for final fantasy 9. Oh, okay oh Final Fantasies 2 and 3 established further staples like chocobos, moogles, and summoning creatures. And when gaming moved from 8-bit to 16-bit, so too did the Final Fantasy series, ultimately yeah. leading to the widely loved Final Fantasy 4, and more importantly than that, the monumental masterpiece known as Final Fantasy 6, which then led to the landmark release of Final Fantasy 7. And even if we were to just stop there, that's only 10 years of existence. Stop and think about that. 10 years of making games led to Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 7, where Square and Sony put 40 million dollars into simply advertising alone. Imagine making games for they 10 a lot years of and being bro. able to put 40 million dollars in just ads for your newest game. And here's the crazy they part, a lot of we are now 25 years after that landmark release, and the amount of players across the world has done nothing but grow. For reference, at the time of writing this, there are over 1.5 million daily players of Final Fantasy 14. For years and years, the Final Fantasy series paved the way in in terms of graphics and storytelling, and it influenced other games like Fantasy Life, Undertale to a point, and later Dragon Quest games, which is kind of funny. Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy has always been sort of rivals, Kind yeah. Of. I mean, in Final Fantasy 1, you'll find the grave of Erdrick, which is the main protagonist of Dragon Quest 1. But in the early 2000s, Square merged with Enix, the developers of Dragon Quest, and now Square is just as synonymous with Dragon Quest as they are with Final Fantasy. Even the grave in Final Fantasy 1 changed to represent another rival in the game space, a certain tunic-wearing, uh -oh. left-handed fella from Hyrule. Uh -oh. But listen, everything I've said so far only answers that One of the, question the goat. from a technical standpoint. If you ask 100 Final Fantasy Fantasy fans, what is Final Fantasy? You'll likely get 100 different answers. It's huh. no secret that I think the best Final Fantasy of all time is Final Fantasy VI. But what is Six? it that makes the game so seven. magical for me? Is it strictly related to the nostalgia that I revel in when playing the game? Or is it actually amazing? Well, in order for me to answer this, I'm going to have to ultimately answer the question of what makes the entire series so awesome. Yeah. So if you're new to the series, I would pay attention just a little bit here. All right, I'm okay, I'm going to say words that anyone that has played the game will understand, but anyone who hasn't played the game will be vastly confused. Yeah, and okay. will also explain some of the themes within the game. Amnesia, uh -oh. an opera, an octopus, the apocalypse, teenage pregnancy, suicide, and a clown. Sounds like just a bunch of random words. But if you play through the game, you'll see that every one of these things are in the game fairly prominently, if I'm being honest. Granted, not every Final Fantasy game has this kind of wild group of words combining to make a story. Or, or do they? 
Let's try Final Fantasy IV. Why do I continually do this to myself? Okay. A Dark Knight, Betrayal, The Moon, A Large Whale, A Spoony Bard, A Large Robot, and Dwarves. Eh, yeah, maybe huh? Final Fantasy is like that if I think about it. But the thing is, yes, those things all inherently sound crazy if you just list them in order like that. But Square does a fantastic job of taking all of those things and makes them into one coherent story. And it all works. Mostly. I mean. And by the time the credits are finished rolling, you've been on quite the roller coaster. You've completed something amazing. The story isn't the only thing in these games that really make an impact on you, but the characters too. On nah, average, you'll I know spend some of the roughly characters. 30 to 60 hours with these characters and these amazing stories. You'll feel a connection with everything, and it's because of the storytelling techniques used in the game that accomplished this. But here's the thing. Just as with anything else in life, Final Fantasy just isn't for everyone. But I do feel okay. like those people that wouldn't like to see are still missing out on the stories of the game. They're compelling. They're decently complex. They're worth checking <laughs> out. Maybe that's something that I'll try to do in the future. Retell the story from each game in a classic storytelling manner. I, I think you know, should do that. Work. But what do you think? Should I do that? Yeah, why now, not? If you're ready to kick off your Final Fantasy journey, I've actually got a video right here that will lead you in the right direction of where to start. It's over! Whoa! It's over! Oh, I was just getting... <laughs> I was just getting started. I can't lie, bro. I like this video. You guys ever like watch a video and like, bro, you're so into it that like, and like it just ends. Whoa! First of all, shout out to this guy. Um, th this is this is a well edited video. Obviously, you know I can't edit to save my life, but well edited video. Um, yeah, this this video was just uh, it was really good, bro. Honestly, shout out to you. I, I don't watch this guy's channel, but. Uh, his channel is going to be in the description down below. Um, when it comes to Final Fantasy, I do know some characters. Uh, when it comes to, like, um, just the name itself, I do know how big Final Fantasy is. I didn't know that uh, whenever, what Final Fantasy he said before, but they put $40 million into the advertisement alone. That's how you know, you know, like, you have, like, major faith in your game, bro. If you got to put $40 million I don't even think games do that to this day. And, you know, obviously, if they do, you know, it's not a bad thing. But, like, bro, imagine having that much faith into, in, like, into something that you put $40 million in ads, bro. Which was, you know, obviously, which, is, which was a good thing because, you know, it, it worked out. So, at the end of the day, you know, um, it, it's just crazy how much... <laughs> it's just crazy how much belief that they had uh, in the game. When it comes to Final Fantasy... Um, I'll be real, bro. I I know <laughs> the way he described it. He was like teenage pregnancy, uh, death, depression, suicide. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, whoa, this is Final Fantasy. Like, and again, like I I've seen. Listen, I'll probably say the most popular Final Fantasy in my life that I've ever heard. I kept hearing people say, oh, Final Final Fantasy Seven, Final Fantasy Seven. I heard that Final Fantasy VII was like like the goat of like Final Fantasy. That's what I heard. A lot of people like Final Fantasy VII. That's what I've heard. Um, and, and so I really wanted to get into Final Fantasy, but I, I never really. Again, I've I've played. I've been playing like different games. I've been playing video games since I was five years old. Okay, there's so many different video games that like I, I just couldn't get to Final Fantasy. You know, it, which is unfortunate because I, I wish I you know I wish I could have gotten to it, but I think I can now. You know, like my life isn't over. I can still try to get into Final Fantasy. You know. And uh, well, let's not go wood for that because you never know what will happen. But yeah, um, so yeah, like you know, I'm still trying to like get into like different uh, type of games, you know, that I really couldn't play when I was younger. That you know that I can play now, and uh, Final Fantasy is definitely one of them. Um, but yeah, I just know a couple of things that I do know about Final Final Fantasy, uh, just how big it is, bro. The fan base it has is crazy. Fin the Final Fantasy fan base it's crazy about their game, bro. What's something that I, which is something that I respect, which also gives you. It also gives you, like, the idea of, like, okay, how good is their game? Because if your fan base is, like, this strong about your game, the game has to be good. Or the game series has to be good, you know? You don't really see, you know, we don't really see... I I'm not going to throw off any names out here. I I'm not going to, like... <laughs> I'm not going to throw off any game titles out there, but we have all know game titles out there, you know games that was really good and like you know their audience was behind it and now you know um their audience isn't really behind it you know there's a there's a couple of games out there that i want to say 
but I'm not gonna say it, you know, because I'm not that type of person. But um, but yeah, like, it, it, like if you had that type of like fan base that uh, Final Fantasy have, bro, then your game has to be really good, and um, it, you know, which makes sense, you know. But um, it, it's kind of like Zelda in a way, bro. Like whenever, like you know, before I got into Zelda, um, I was like, bro, like people really ride for this game, bro. Like this game is really, really like, you know, and, and so I, you know, I played Zelda. Uh, my first Zelda that I've ever played was Breath of the Wild. I'll, I'll keep it real. Um, and, bro, it was fire. And I was like, okay, that's why a lot of people like this game. That's why so many people back this game and buy it, you know, and, and bought, you know, uh, every single game on release. You know, that's why so many people love this game. And um, because it was amazing. And um, other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think of Final Fantasy? If you guys, um, you know, are Final Fantasy fans, comment down below, you know, uh, some tips for me, some um uh, just or like a summary or anything you don't have to well you don't have to type a whole you know novel to me but like you know if you can provide like like you know a sentence or two of like what final fantasy is then you know um you know that, that'll be pretty cool and, I, and I'll, I'll really appreciate that but other than that comment down below uh other things as well like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys want to and i'll see you guys later for the next one i'm out and